This is GTV, the master of all things awesome. The wonderful sights, sounds, smells, and of course, tastes of Japanese barbecue. Imported to Japan from Korea almost 100 years ago, this style of barbecue is much different than that of the West. Known as yakiniku in Japanese, attention to the flame is a must. Not too rare and not too well done. Each strip of finely cut beef, pork, chicken, or seafood takes only a minute or two to cook. An individual's taste isn't one size fits all. Each serving is likely to be handled differently. Don't forget the vegetables, providing balance and harmony with the meat. At a large party, or even just a family having a beachside barbecue, making your plate the way you like it could prove difficult. There is only so much space on the grill, things move fast, and to keep many busy hands out of the fire, one person is designated as the boss. The Yakiniku Bugyo, in English, the barbecue master in charge of the grill, serving the guests every need diligently. If you've ever been to a Japanese restaurant like Benihana, you might have seen something like a yakiniku bugyo serving customers. However, these setups are solely an American invention, designed to make Japanese food look more exotic and fun, and most likely to keep untrained customers from hurting themselves. But in the land of the rising sun, the real deal is much different, as each customer gets his or her own grill and plate of raw food to do with as they like. One of the more popular yakiniku restaurant chains in Japan is Gyukaku, meaning bullhorn in English. I can't really afford to go there, but they do sell some of their specialty sauce at the supermarket, so whenever I can save up the money, I can bring their signature taste home. But if you do ever get a chance to go to one, you're in for a treat. In the late PS1, early PS2 era, there was a boom of restaurant video games. Yoshinoya and Koko Ichiban were just two of many examples. There were also more generic games like Ore no Ryori and family restaurant Yokoso. But most of these, strangely enough, were a simulation of working conditions at these places of business. Gyukaku joined this conga line of adver games with one of their own, Yakiniku Bugyo, The Game. Released in 2001 for the Sony PlayStation by Media Entertainment, game fans now had a chance to summon their might to become a barbecue master in video game form. In the game, you man the grill at a gyukaku, presumably somewhere in Saitama, and dish out the food requested by the other members of your party sitting with you. Each stage has three guests you must serve. Every character has a short profile that tells us who they are, including age and occupation. Movie stars, freeders, OLs, salarymen, retirees, and kids will eventually sit down at the table with you. Each character has certain favorites they like to eat, as well as food that they just can't stand. One specific like and dislike is shown on screen throughout the course of the game. Be sure to memorize the information given to you before the game begins, because the action starts out rather quickly and goes faster from there. Guests will often comment on what they like and don't like. While they're waiting for food, they will often remark on what they would like to have next, as well as what they see on the grill that they don't want. After each guest eats a food item, they will comment on how it tasted. If you don't have any Japanese skill, don't worry. Just remember that blue is good, and red is bad. The grill is the focal point of the game and sits center screen. There are 12 spots on the grill where you can cook different cuts of meat as well as carrots, onions, and pumpkin slices. There is also a preview of what the next two items going on the grill will be. The controls in the game are very simple and straightforward. The cross button is your main action button. Pushing cross will place a food item on the grill and also flip it over. Holding cross down will let you pick up the meat and move it to another spot on the grill. If a piece of meat gets too burnt, cross will also chip it away, clearing the space for something else. The square, triangle, and circle buttons are reserved for your three guests. 
Pushing these buttons will send a food item to each of them. The center is the hottest place on the grill. It's best to put meat you intend to make well done or vegetables there. The edges of the grill will cook food slower, which is fine, but guests will get hungrier if they're waiting too long. Some guests like their meat well done, others like it rare. Some actually like the vegetables, but no one likes them raw. A few people are just impossible to satisfy, while others are happy to eat anything. Then there are those who are just impossible to read. Each guest has a hunger satisfaction meter. Giving the guests what they like raises it. Giving what they dislike lowers it. While waiting to eat, the meter will drop over time, so it needs to keep being raised. If you can cook things perfectly, you will receive bonus points for your technique, as well as a bonus chain for however many items you can deliver to the guests with satisfaction. One stage lasts 99 seconds. A full grill with 12 pieces on it will take about 10 seconds to cook, so on average you will go through at least 100 items, probably more. When each stage is over, the guest gives you a rating. If the hunger satisfaction meter is over 50%, you did well and will get a positive rating. If the meter is under 50%, you will get a bad rating. If all three guests aren't satisfied, game over. Each successive stage speeds up the action and increases the challenge. On the seventh stage, you go one-on-one -on -one with the boss. The literal boss. Your boss. The owner of this particular gyukaku. He is tough to please. Each food item that raises his hunger satisfaction meter does so in the smallest of increments, while more than one thing cooked less than perfect will send the meter almost down to zero. If you can satisfy the boss, you have beaten the game and get a neat little congratulatory screen featuring all the guests from the game, as well as high praise of truly earning the title of Yakiniku Bugyo, the barbecue master. There's also a two-player mode. The timer still counts down, but now you have to share the grill and fight against your opponent to please the guests. The timer clock still counts down, but rather than trying to fill the hunger satisfaction meter and run out the clock, the players engage in a tug-of-war style battle, as each food item raises the meter in favor of your color. Red for player 1, blue for player 2. You can steal your opponent's items, and if you really want to be a jag-off, clog up the grill with vegetables the guests hate, after you've tilted the meter to your side. Furthermore, you can try your hand at the unlimited time mode. Here, the player can fry up meat till you drop. You start with three guests, just like the timed game. When someone reaches 100% satisfaction, he or she will leave and be replaced with someone new. Rather than the timer counting down, the number of guests cleared counts up. How long can you last? All in all, Yakiniku Bugyo is a pretty fun game. Simple, but challenging, and interesting enough to make it worth the price of entry. If you didn't get your fill with this game, Media Entertainment came back in 2003 with a sequel, Yakiniku Bugyo Bonfire. The gameplay mechanics are the same, but the game features better graphics and more characters. The b-boy and his florid prose make it worth trying out just for him alone. Now that you are a certified barbecue master, take that newly acquired know-how. Get out there and show the world that you can work your way around the grill, that you can please cranky customers, and that you've mastered handling your meat, and that yours is the meat that can't be beat. After all, what happens behind closed doors is your business.